Finally got to the Snake Bite Sunday brunch. Boy, that was almost the perfect day, wasn't it? It was a pretty nice one, honestly. It was just so fun. Lots of time with friends and just shenanigans, Mm -hmm. which is my favorite thing ever. First, let's show you the menus. Put a couple shots of the front and back of the menu Mm -hmm. on here. I had the Wagyu steak and eggs. Mm Mm-hmm. Our buddy had the Wagyu breakfast burger. Which was really good, too. that egg on there. Mm -hmm. And you had the smoked salmon eggs benedict. I have to get an eggs benny. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just the perfect brunch food. And the potatoes that came with them all. (gasps) You see, they loaded those plates up with potatoes. Well, and you know how much I love potatoes. Mm -hmm. And man, okay, I think the standout piece on my dish, and this is going to sound crazy, the hollandaise sauce. It was so lemony. It was a little more lemony. And I wonder if they (gasps) made it that way because of the salmon. And I wasn't ready for the smoked. I didn't know it was a smoked salmon. Oh, right. But didn't that add such a nice little flavor to it? right on. See, I dug that. That might be one of my favorite Eggs Bennies in town. Okay. Yeah. And that's saying something Mm because you have that everywhere we go. I really do. Yeah. (laughs) And then like a couple of school kids... We decided for dessert to go get Grandma McFlurries right. before they're all gone. Well, and that's the thing. They had lots of great dessert there, but when we were there, we weren't hungry for dessert. But yeah. as soon as we left, we were like, we need some dessert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our dessert stomachs started growling, mm-hmm. and we got fries to go with them because who doesn't like to mix a little salty, savory mm-hmm. with sweet? Right. And the, the funny thing is we were all stuffed when we left, but there was always that little extra room, uh-huh. that dessert stomach like you mentioned. And man, I the part I loved the most was that we sat in the car and ate them, which really is the perfect way to enjoy fast food. Yes. You yeah. have to, yeah. You don't want to wait till you get home and the milkshakes no. melted and the burgers and fries are cold. Oh, yeah. Car fries are the best fries. Yeah. They're yeah. still piping hot. Oh, that's just so crispy. And the seagulls enjoyed them too. Yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing. It was a dessert stomach after all, so it only had a little room. But, you know, we had a, we had our fill, which was, like, you know, maybe like 10 fries each. Mm-hmm. And then the seagulls got the rest. And honestly, I think that was the real dessert. It was like dinner and a show. Yeah. Getting to watch those seagulls paddling around with their friends in the <laughs> yeah. fries. We talked about how much we loved seagulls in the, was it the Mormon cricket episode? Yes. We just think they're cute. Yeah. And they well, have big old fat seagull tummies now. <laughs> they do. And just remember, by the way, that the more seagulls there are, the fewer Mormon crickets there are. That's right. So. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody said, by the way, do we have those in town? And what I hear is they're mostly to the south and to the west of Idaho Falls. Mm-hmm. If you want to see a Mormon cricket swarm, I guess. <laughs> right, right. We're kind of in that sweet spot, you know? Yeah. Where we don't have to deal with that, which good, because, oh, they're too crunchy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Especially when that blade, I don't oh, know if it's a snowplow or whatever, it. that came <laughs> crunching along to pick him up. Right. If you missed last episode. Oh. I saw a comment, too, saying that the Elks Lodge Sunday brunch menu is legit. Really? So we might have, we've been toying around with the idea of joining... I mean, if there's an elk who wants to uh, sponsor, sponsor us, us in. in. Yeah. <laughs> I, we got an application once. Do we still have that around? I don't, I don't, I don't know think we do. We do. Uh, speaking of food, more ethnic food for us <laughs> Whydahoans <laughs> coming to Ammon just east of Mobetas, I guess. Mm-hmm. And somebody made the comment, is this going to be Asian food row? Because I love Asian food. Because we've got- Oh, same. We've got, I don't know if, I don't think Tandoori Oven counts, but we've got Cup Bop and then mm-hmm. we've got- Coming soon, Sumo Japanese Steakhouse and Sushi Bar. So that sounds like another Fuji, Fuji, perhaps. Yeah. And then a Korean barbecue and hot pot. I'm actually really excited for that. I actually did try Korean barbecue back when I visited my cousin in L.A., and it is kind of fun. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like a fondue restaurant, right? <laughs> right, Where right. you cook the meat in the thing. Exactly. I don't know. And, yeah. and Hokkaido is right there. Mm-hmm. I just love the fact that we're getting all this ethnic food here because I think that food in Idaho Falls has been bland for so long. Right, and yeah. And now we've got some flavor up in here. Exactly. Well, and now when your favorite TV character talks about, you know, some random restaurant in their big metropolitan city... You can have the Idaho Falls equivalent. Yeah, you can say, I've had that. <laughs> yeah. I've had Korean barbecue. Yeah, right? I don't know if I've ever had it. I mean, probably I not. Wait. I feel like it. I feel like it's only really become a big thing in the last like 10 years. 